Jewel back again, and I thought today we would concentrate on another aspect and talk about what a T-square is in a natal chart. So this is not a synastry video. Synastry T-squares and aspects are different, uh, read differently than natal aspects. So a T-square is when we have two planets that are in opposition and they are both in a square to a third planet. So when you draw a line from the two that are opposite and then the one that's square right down the middle makes a T formation. So there is a certain amount of stress that is associated with this aspect because we have three planets. That means three parts of somebody's personality or three parts of somebody's life that are in argument. They are working something out between themselves because planets are always having conversations with each other. That's what aspects are. So once you can really get um, a hold of what the different characteristics are of the each planets and what areas of life they rule and which planets are good friends and neighbors and which planets do not make good friends and neighbors, then you just knowing that, even not messing with any of the geometric angles, just knowing that is half the battle. That will give you a lot of insight into what certain aspects mean because it's very much important to know the characteristics of the planets that are making the aspects. So when we have three planets that are in conflict, that means they are... So what is conflict? That means we're, we're trying to work something out. We don't like something. So these three planets are in, you know, signs, elements that, you know, they think they, their idea is the right idea. Well, you can't have three people who think their idea is only the right idea. So these three are working something out between them. So the areas of life um, that these three planets that are in this T-square formation represent, uh, we can see difficulty in these areas. So the planets in a T-square or Grand Cross formation do not want to rest until they have worked out their difficulties. So you can see people that have T-squares and Grand Crosses in their natal charts that are extremely successful because this is an aspect of learned application. You must apply yourself in order to learn how to work it out. And in that, there is an incredible um, gift of self-mastery. So a lot of people do not work out this formation uh, because there is, you know, it depends on who you are, what you want, what your personal choices are, and other people's use this one to a great advantage. So, squares, oppositions, difficult aspects in astrology are there to give us the opportunity to master them. So, the square planet is called the focus planet. It's the point focus because it's um, very much like the referee of the two planets that are in opposition. So, you know, the two planets in opposition, they can see each other really well. And they, planets that are in opposition actually have a pretty loud and lively conversation. Um, they're, 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 they're in somewhat of a competition. So oppositional planets are like, you can imagine them as like two ice hockey players that are, you know, going at each other. And the point focus planet, the square planet, is like the referee. So the two ice hockey planets, the players, they definitely want to have their own way. That means they want to win. And they don't really appreciate or like the referee because they know that he isn't really on their side. 
he could go either way. So they don't really trust that guy. And so there is this, um, you know, outward combat between the two players and this subtle, um, I, you know, the subtle rebelliousness and um, kind of, uh, you know, they, they just don't really like or appreciate the square planet. So they're in conflict, the three of them. So the square planet is the one that, you know, is really calling the shots between these two. He's blowing the whistle. He's telling them when to take a break. He's telling them what to do. And, um, you know, they don't really like that. But the thing is, is that you can't have a game without the referee. It just becomes these two guys beating each other up in ice skates and nobody's there to watch. But when you add this formality of having a referee, it turns into something that is constructive. So it's very much like this aspect, having a three-legged table and you're sitting on top of a three-legged table, right? It's missing that fourth leg. So when you rock back and forth on a three-legged table, you know where the missing leg is. It's really obvious where the instability is. That is how you solve a T-square. You locate where, where the opposite the oppositional point is to the square planet, the planet that is square to the two in opposition. So the point focus planet, look down. What is he opposite to? There will be a degree right there beneath him. So you need to look at the plant that um, sign that the empty leg of that table is in and the house that it's in. And that is where you need to focus. That is what you need to learn. You need to bring that into your character, into your life. You need to develop that. Because that builds the qualities and the stability and the structure within somebody. And it turns this ice hockey combat game into a beautiful and well choreographed ballet. So the planets go from beating each other up to try to, as their mode of working something out and having um, ill feelings towards the referee because he's keeping them from beating the crap out of each other the way they really like to do. It goes from that to these two dancers that are cooperating in this beautiful dance. It is very successful because their energies are working together very well. And the coach, the point focus planet, is sitting on the side and he no longer feels overwhelmed because he has in this grouping an assistant. You have developed for your point focus planet that is square a co-coach and between them they are able to well manage the two dancers that were in opposition. So it becomes a concert that everybody wants to attend instead of an ice hockey game where you have to sit behind the glass because you might get splattered with blood. So it's this successful, beautiful pairing that doesn't have this undertone of tension. You've solved it. So you want to take the tension out of the T-square by learning what is missing. So um, this is one that offers great stability to somebody's personality, somebody's life, if they are able to work with the energies involved. Now, a lot of people don't, and they suffer with a T-square that is unsolved for all of their life. And so they find that these three parts of themselves or parts of their life simply are always a focus of issues. 
So it's important to be changeable enough because T squares and grand crosses are actually energies that we, we get caught up in. And so it's hard to change them. So if you have a T square and cardinal signs, People who have this are going on are looking for something new to break into. Those three planets are always looking for action, movement. It's, um, you know, their T-square issues are really surrounding things about ego, their self, or their identity. And um, they can be actually um, critical, uh, or the, the quality that it lends to the, the planets in T-score, it can be very critical or harsh. So in fixed signs, these people are looking for meaning when it comes to the ideals or their values because these are fixed planets that are sitting in fixed signs. That's the focus that fixed signs have. So it lends a stubborn or rigid qualities to uh, quality to the planets that are in a T-square formation. So remaining teachable is really important when we have that one going on. Mutable signs, relationships are very much the focus with T-squared planets, um, intimacy and uh, feelings. So um, this can lend a, a quality within themselves where they are apt to be followers or there's a searching um, quality to this. So learning to be independent, learning to be selfish, is um, more the focus when we have um, planets that are caught in a T-square in mutable signs. So I hope this brought some, um, shed some light onto this for you and you found this helpful. If you did, please subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. And yes, I do private consultation all the time. I am mainly a relationship and intimacy astrologer, but I interpret all types of charts. You can find me on the internet at truthinaspectastrology.com and on Facebook where you should be following me at Truth in Aspect Astrology because I do uh, the daily astro weather forecasts, birthday descriptions, um, all kinds of articles and writings over there. I also specialize in asteroids and planetoids. So find me over there and I will be back super soon with more super cool videos and see you later. Bye bye.